For thousands of years, it's been one of the world's great mysteries. Just how were the pyramids built so deep in the Egyptian desert? Now, scientists say they have the answer. They found evidence of a branch of the Nile long since dried up, which they say was used to float the giant blocks needed to build the 4,000-year-old structures to their destination. Earlier, I spoke to Aidan Dodson, professor of Egyptology at the University of Bristol, and asked him how this discovery can help us understand how the pyramids were built. Oh yeah, it ties in very well with how we thought things were done for a while, except that we'd always thought everything was being floated over during the Nile flood, which only lasts for a couple of months a year. Now we know there is a branch of the Nile running close to the desert edge. That means that materials could be brought in year round, which really changes our understanding of probably what the logistics are of pyramid building. It's uh, and... pointing out... I'm sorry, out, um, I was just going to say, would it explain how there are clusters of pyramids in, in different locations as well? It would certainly, look at, looking at the topography, it does suggest that certain areas are better from the point of view of, of river access, certainly. Uh, and the pyramids, they have a habit, don't they, of, of uh, revealing little nuggets of information over the years? Yeah, although this is something which is uh, very much in the detail. Um, I think it's important to recognise that actually people talk about the mysteries of the pyramids. In fact, there are very few of them. Uh, we know why they're built, who they built them and when they were built. It's more some little details of logistics. And this is where this discovery of the, um, the Nile branch comes in, that we actually can understand that we can, they can bring in some of the materials year round rather than at certain periods. So it's that kind of say, of, uh, of detail of logistics, which, which this does, rather than really solving any sort of major mysteries, because really there aren't really that many in the, the way of real mysteries. And um, what will uh, researchers now do with this information in terms of uh, looking at the pyramids anew? I don't think it's so much the pyramids we'll be looking at it anew. It's more the whole topography, because what this discovery of this new branch is, it means that Egypt looked very, very different from what we thought it did. We'd always thought it was a single uh, run of the Nile with fields either side and then the desert. Now we know there's another branch of the Nile. So a whole chunk of Egypt was effectively an island rather than being joined to the to, to one of the banks. So I think the big issue is not so, although everybody's sort of looking at the pyramids as the big thing, looking at how the landscape of Egypt is fundamentally different from what we expected it to be what, four, three, four thousand years ago. I think that's really where the future research should be aimed. Professor Aidan Dodson.